There are a number of shortcut keys and function keys that help you navigate and perform operations in OCalc. Um, I highly re recommend that you look at the various sections in the user's guide for how to do these things, but just to go over some of the more important ones, let's take a look at what we can do here. Um, the first thing you can do is control what tab you're currently seeing. So for example, uh, F1 shows the 3D view, um, F2 shows the charts, uh, um, F3 shows the data panel down at the bottom. So imagine a scenario where I have this docked in my tabs here. Okay, and so I say F3 and that gives you my data panel. Um, F4 gives you a photo measurement uh, uh, control. Um, F6 or uh, F5 shows your reports. F6 shows your inventory which was already shown in our case. Um, then F7 shows your heat map, and so on and so forth. There's a large number of them. Uh, some of the more useful ones are uh, F11 lets you save, um, and F12 lets you toggle back. So we go to F1 to show the F3, and then we hit F12. It toggles back and forth between the overhead view and the perspective view, the side view. Um, in addition, I can do things like uh, inserts and deletes. So, for example, if I select this cross arm and I say, hit the delete key, it says, do I really want to do that? I say yes, and it goes ahead and deletes it. I can always undo by doing control Z. I can always redo by doing control Y. That's pretty standard in Windows. In addition, I can do insert operations. So let's say I want to add something to uh, this, this uh, insulator here. If I say insert, it pops up a list of all the things that's legal for me to insert there, and I can then scroll up and down and hook something up, and I'm going to just cancel out of there. And so there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Uh, again, I encourage you to use the user's manual to uh, find them all, but once you get the hang of them, they really speed up the process of creating and editing a poll in OCalc.